The third research direction we have been working on in the last 10 years is called privacy preserving data mining or privacy preserving data publishing. The idea is to allow a company to release a large volume of data without privacy concern. So data mining is a process to extract hidden patterns from large volume of data. It is very useful, it can be used on Amazon, it can be used to recommend items that you buy, or Netflix it can recommend what movies you, you may want to watch. So that is actually has a positive benefit to the society. But on the other hand, the general public also has concern on the privacy protection. Okay, let's consider one example. Suppose there's a hospital. The hospital would like to um, release a large volume of patient-sensitive information, let's say to a third party for uh, data analysis. That third party can be a university, can be a pharmaceutical company. So what we want to do is to um, transform the original patient data into another version such that that version cannot be used to infer the sensitive information of any individual patient but at the same time we still want to make sure the data is still useful for the university or pharmaceutical company to do effective data mining and analysis. That piece of information is still useful for data mining but you cannot use it to track down who I am. So there's a room between the black and white is the gray area. We are trying to make use of that room to achieve a good balance between privacy protection and data mining.